Hey, hi, hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to Bougie Budgets, where we're always being bougie. On a budget, I'm Lambo. I'm 23. I got some cash to put into my savings challenges. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right on into it. I have $210 here, but I'm actually only going to be cash stuffing $150. You'll see here in a second. But I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it, you guys. It's probably going to be short and sweet. But that's okay because we're still saving money at the end of the day so that is literally all that matters you guys so i'm actually filming this on saturday and saturday is when my like new week starts if that makes any sense so my week ends on friday and starts on saturday i had some unexpected things come up so I honestly didn't know if I was even going to be able to do this cash stuffing for my savings because I thought that I was going to have to use this money instead of saving it. But I think I was able to figure it out and that I can go ahead and cash stuff what I originally intended to. So we are going to start off with my favorite savings challenge it is the 52 week savings challenge because it's just really nice to start off each year with you know a few extra dollars to your name that you may or may not already have a plan for so right now i have 500 plus 250 which is 750 800 and 810 and i'm actually going to add 50 dollars. but what i'm going to do instead is I'm going to grab this 50 and I'm going to put it to the side and then grab this 100 and add it in there. So I'm basically adding money and condensing it at the same time because it just works out a little better for me. I'll go ahead and set that up there just for now. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I just had my first physical therapy appointment for my ankle and she said that progress is going to be slow and steady which I'm an impatient person so I like things <laughs> to go faster especially when I haven't been able to walk in over a month now at this point but unfortunately she said well i'm going to learn patience this time around because it does take quite some time for an ankle to heal she said the same thing applies to knees and especially especially shoulders so luckily i've never had to experience that hopefully i never will but yeah i'm going to have to learn to relax and chill which i have not really been doing <laughs> And I kind of pay for it the next day. So, yeah, I, I learned my lesson that day, that's for sure. What do I want to fill out? I kind of want to fill out the 225s for $50. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. No, my coloring has not gotten any better. The Summer Olympics is officially over, but the Paralympics start soon. So, I'm excited. I will be watching that. It really, I'm not going to lie, you guys. Why did I just do that? I need to do it all in one go or else it looks funny. I really want to go to the next Summer Olympics. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's in LA, so it's in the US. I am in the, oh my gosh, what is going on? It is in the US and I am in the US as well. It's in LA, but you guys... LA on its own is already extremely expensive. I think I've been there literally once in my life when I was mm, maybe like nine <laughs> for a gymnastics meet, actually. And I have not been back since. It was quite an interesting experience. I vividly remember it, actually. It was so, it was just. It was so weird. It was really weird. And as a kid, I didn't exactly know why it was weird, but I knew how I felt. 
and that's honestly all that matters and now as an adult I'm able to reflect and I understand why I felt weird because it it it, it just no definitely didn't leave a good taste in my mouth but yeah I don't know you guys I kind of want to go it's four years away obviously it's going to be extremely expensive so I don't even I don't even know I don't even know it's just a dream right now okay um but a dream that I have time to plan for if that's what I want to do so anyways 52 weeks has 500 a 250 dollar placeholder so that's 500 750 850 and 860 still trying to play catch up here for this challenge because I did have to deplete it earlier in the year but I think we're making good progress so yes we're going to skip Roth IRA because I stuffed that at the beginning of the month only and then I'll move on to my emergency fund ah, I'm really excited you guys because I'm getting close to another milestone here so i'm adding 100 dollars, which is in a placeholder because the money is in a high yield savings account woo look at the spread beautiful okay let me color in one of these guys what color am i feeling so i have one blue one green one orange I have two yellows, so I'm definitely not going to do yellow again for the body, at least. Um, I don't know, you guys. I do not know. Maybe I'll just flip this, so I'll have this pink be up here and then this orange be down there, but then that matches that one. Um, let's see. I should decide what I want the body color to be first, which honestly, I do want it to be this cute little red. So that's what I'll do. I'm over here thinking that I can color in both of these, which I can't because this represents $100 and then the body represents $100. So we're just going to do the body today. And I'm honestly just so grateful that I'm even able to save this money right now because like i mentioned before i had some unexpected things come up uh, and i feel like i'm always scrambling for cash so i'm just very grateful for the cash budgeting system and to just be able to be diligent and have the money to save so emergency fund has 1,000 100 200 300 4 5 6 7 8 and 1,900 which means next week I'll hit 2,000 and I'll be able to switch out the hundreds for another placeholder which means that I will have saved $2,000 in my emergency fund so far this year that's so exciting oh my goodness health we are skipping there is an update for this but i will talk about it in the next video but yes there has been an update who even knows if i'll be able to touch this savings challenge this year i just i don't even know you guys but it's okay because that is the whole point of budgeting is to be able to move things around so right now i have a $230 in my pet's emergency fund and I'm going to add this last $10 bill so we need to add a little bit of spice is there like a blue but I think it turns out that color right Mm, I honestly don't even know you guys. I'll just pick literally a dark red. The one that's like kind of bright. Okay. Let's see how this color looks. I have no idea. The color is always going to look different because the dog tree is a tan color so I always have to keep that in mind when I pick out my colors 
okay definitely out there you can definitely see it <laughs> okay let's go ahead and add this 10 so now in my pet emergency fund I have 100 200 in the bank 220 230 and 240 dollars which is really exciting because the deductible is 250 and then they'll start covering 90% of anything that happens. So I'm $10 away, which is really, really exciting. And I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good, you guys. I hope you guys are feeling good. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. I really, truly appreciate it, as always. And as usual, I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace.